Hello guys, Rob here. There has been some changes to the Telos Economic Development Plan, and this is the plan that will bring 0% inflation and up to 30% REX returns to Telos. This is done from using the funds in the Exchange Reserve Fund. So currently in the number two spot just under Telos that are staked is the Exchange Reserve Fund with just under 140 million Telos in them. And this fund is currently, before the Telos Economic Development Plan, used for exchanges to claim for their users. But so far there's been very few exchanges to claim, so really these funds are just sitting there idle. And what the Telos Economic Development Plan proposes is to use these funds every month to pay to Rex holders, pay the worker proposals, pay the Telos Foundation, pay Economic Development Fund, and to pay block producers. So instead of inflation applying the funds for things like the worker proposals and block producer pay, it will come from an already existing supply of tokens in the exchange reserve fund. Now there have been some changes. The initial plan had 7,100,000 TLOS each month getting divided up between these different areas. With the feedback of the community, this has been reduced. So the primary variance from the original proposal is a reduction in the total maximum monthly amount of funds drawn from the exchange token reserve fund from 7.1 million to 5.26 million TLOS. This is accomplished by reducing the maximum amount of TLOS paid to block producers. One of the main points of contention with the original Telos economic develop plan within the Telos community was the block producer pay. So this revision comes out and addresses those concerns, reducing the amount of Telos paid to block producers each month, bringing down the supply we see here in the plan from 7.1 million down to 5.26 million Telos per month. This revision also brings in amendments to four existing clauses. So clause 10 was the block producer pay. That was the main one. Clause 23, requirement to opt in as a member, adds nullification of unclaimed accounts as an option and specifies that all tokens associated with any deleted or nullified accounts will be added to the exchange token reserve fund. So what this means is that accounts that have no transactions after block 63 million, approximately 365 days after the activation of the Telos network are subject to deletion or nullification by block producers. So any accounts that were in the Telos Genesis snapshot and have not claimed, have not interacted on their account within the first year, either the, because they don't want their Telos or they just don't care about their Telos, whatever the reason may be, if you don't sign on to your Telos account and perform an action as easy as unstaking or staking or voting anything a simple one minute job for you to do those accounts that don't within the first year after block 63 million are considered inactive and can be deleted or nullified with their funds with their telos being sent to the exchange token reserve fund so even more funding to support the economic development plan above and beyond this 140 million that are already in there so if you haven't got on and interacted with your Telus account yet, just go do it. It's so easy to do. I'll leave a link in the description to a video showing you how to hook up your Genesis Block EOS account to Squirrel and start interacting with Telos. So Clause 24, worker proposal funds will receive its funding from this account instead of inflation. At a rate, the BPs determined up to the initial amount of 1 million TLOS per month. So again, instead of worker proposal funds coming from inflation, they're going to come from the exchange reserve fund, which is already existing tokens in the supply. All it's doing is reallocating from the exchange reserve fund, fund used for exchanges to claim, since exchanges aren't claiming in large numbers, and using those to offset the inflation, to cancel out the inflation for worker proposal funds, reallocating up to a million of these tokens per month into the worker proposals. Rex Rewards, Rex Rewards will receive funding from this account at the rate the BPs determine up to the initial amount of 1 million TLOS per month. So that goes here, paying up to 30% Rex returns based on the amount of Telos that participate in Rex 
with the BPs determining how much will be sent to Rex up to the initial 1 million TLOS per month. So the big changes here is the reduction in block producer pay from the Telos Economic Development Plan, bringing down the amount of funds drawn from the ETRF from 7.1 million a month to 5.26 million. So voting on this shouldn't be too far away. We do have in the new Squirrel Wallet the Ratify section. And this section is where the Telos Blockchain Network allows the community to control the governance of its mainnet. Below are proposals to ratify and or amend certain aspects of the do documents governing the network. Please vote responsibly. So here, when it is available, you will be able to vote on the Telos Economic Development Plan. Whether yes, you want it, no, you don't want it. So now with the new Squirrel 1.0.6, we have the tools needed to easily cast our vote and control the direction of the chain by either voting yes or no for the Telos Economic Development Plan. Also, there has been some changes here to the proposals section for worker proposals in the new Squirrel. I have submitted my proposal, Proposal 18, which is for Telos YouTube and website promotion. This would put Telos in all my videos here on the channel as well as on the websites I manage. And any long-time subscriber knows Telos is one of my favorite EOS chains. From its lower token supply to its amazing governance, being able to express your voice and vote on the direction of the chain has always been big on my list as well as the amazing Telos community. It's amazing to me how many people in EOS still don't know about Telos. Just the other day, a regular subscriber here on the channel I was in contact with, I asked him if he had a Telos account, and he said, what's Telos? So even those in EOS that have been here for a while, and even on this channel for a while, still do not know what Telos is. So if you want to see Telos promoted to more EOS users, get it in front of more people already in EOS that might not even know Telos exists, and you want to support the channel, vote yes on Telos Worker Proposal number 18, Telos YouTube and Website Promotion. So I'm interested to hear you guys' thoughts. What do you guys think about the updates made to the Telos Economic Development Plan? Let me know down in the comments below. I will let you guys know when the time comes when we can vote on the Telos Economic Development Plan, so stay tuned for that. But that's it for me. Subscribe for more Telos, EOS, and EOSIO content. I'll see you guys in the next one.